Today we are revisiting Harmonic Drive mounts, but this time it's ZWO's newest iteration to their lightweight and portable AM3, the AM3N. The AM3N succeeds the original with several new features, upgrades, and quality of life improvements. ZWO continues to update and improve their products, and the AM3N is simply another step along the path of innovation. So join us today as we take a deeper dive into the AM3N and see how it performs under the night sky. I'm Tegan with High Point. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Harmonic drive mounts are quickly becoming the most sought after type of equatorial mount on the market and for good reason. Their payload to weight ratio is unmatched as is their ability to perform without the need of a counterweight. And it's these characteristics that have launched astrophotography into new realms for both beginner and advanced astrophotographers alike. The AM3N aims to streamline the original AM3 just as the AM5N did with the original AM5 and so far it looks like they may have succeeded. First and foremost, let's talk design. The AM3N continues its gorgeous ZWO red trend that matches so well with all other ZWO accessories while also offering the same cutting edge design and performance standard that we have all come to appreciate. The weight of the entire mount comes in at a mere 9 pounds but has a payload capacity of 28 pounds with a counterweight and just under 18 pounds without a counterweight, meaning this is an ultimate option for those looking for a portable and very capable mount for deep space astrophotography. With a payload like this, you are no longer limited to the smallest refractors on the market, but rather the more medium-sized refractors like a 90mm or even a 100mm refractor. A setup like this, mount, scope, cameras, and accessories come in at under 25 pounds. A very manageable imaging rig that is seamlessly interwoven within the ZWO ecosystem of cameras and accessories. On top of this, the AM3N still offers a dual Vixen and Lawsmandy style saddle to accommodate all astrophotography setups. If you look at the front of the mount head, it offers a standard 12 volt power port, a hand controller and ST4 port, as well as a USB port for optional mount control, and finally a Bluetooth indicator light. Around the back, the altitude and azimuth knobs are nearly identical with a slight adjustment in the azimuth knob design. The altitude adjustment knobs remain large and very easy to tighten and loosen, making polar alignment a breeze. The azimuth adjustment knobs, on the other hand, do now include holes to insert the included hex key for extra torque. This could be especially useful in cold weather when your fingers just don't want to cooperate. Lastly, with the AM3N, you still have the option to utilize this mount in either equatorial mode for astrophotography or alt azimuth mode for visual use. So as we can see, a lot is the same with the AM3N, and that is not a bad thing. The anodized red coating, the easy to adjust hardware, and the small compact footprint are all things that we love to see from iteration to iteration. So now let's talk about the new upgrades and features to the AM3N, and first, we're going to start off with the upgrade that completely transforms the way that you manage your equipment. The AM3N now has a fully powered declination saddle with a USB-C port and a 12 volt power output port for cable management. This won't only make your setup look cleaner, but also stop those session ending cable snags as well as make full 360 degree tangle free movements possible. Unlike traditional equatorial mounts when you have cables hanging over the RA axis, worrying about cable snags during meridian flip at 345 in the morning is now a thing of the past thanks to the AM3N and the power deck hub, so that is a very welcome feature. In addition to the added power solution, the AM3N now has the ability to connect remotely to your ASI Air or your ASI Air camera through a very stable Bluetooth connection. This completely removes the USB-C cable from the equation when doing dedicated astrophotography. Connecting my mount and accessories through the 2600 MC Air via Bluetooth and powering it all with a single power cable is what we would consider quite streamlined. Now, additional feature added to the AM3N and one that will be appreciated by those who are very dedicated to their craft is the ability for the mount to be used in a wider range of temperatures. This mount now works from negative four to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. And lastly, ZWO has included a magnetic hex key for easy adjustment of the alt azimuth knobs and installing the ZWO tripod plate to the bottom of the mount head. 
Now, we've talked about all the incredible additions and features that ZWO has included with their new iteration of the AM3, the AM3N. Now, let's talk about performance. And just because ZWO has added these awesome features does not mean that performance was sacrificed. In our field test, we ran the AM3N with the Aperture 90 APO triplet refractor, the 2600 MC Air, the EAF Pro, and the ZWO camera angle adjuster. As expected, our auto guiding test went tremendously. It showed a consistent 0.35 to 0.50 arc seconds of total RMS error over several hours of imaging. These are great numbers to see with the AM3N. So I think it's safe to say that we can all appreciate the efforts that ZWO was taking to streamline and upgrade their harmonic drive mounts for the astrophotography community. The powered USB hub, the consistent and reliable performance, and the overall build quality are all features that we love to see and they allow us to take advantage of the few clear nights that we get and in the end that's really all that we want, right? So that is our full review of the AM3N from ZWO. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to assist. Take a look in the link in the description. It'll take you directly to the webpage on the High Point Scientific website. Again, I'm Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in and clear skies.